I'm interested mainly in uh, uh, discovering new materials which uh, can function as thermoelectrics. And in this sense, uh, what I mean is that these materials have a capability of uh, converting heat, which may come from a primary source like the sun uh, or a propane burner, or maybe uh, of a waste nature, such as waste heat in an automobile, uh, converting that uh, heat energy to electricity. Uh, this really offers a means uh, for us to increase our energy efficiency. It's a question of how we utilize our energy sources. Uh, if we can make use of some of this uh, energy in the form of heat, which is lost energy in some sense, uh, we can increase uh, our energy efficiency. Well, one of the uh, primary applications which I've personally been involved with for uh, about 15 years now, dating back to my time at GM Research, is in the conversion of uh, waste heat from an automobile into electricity. Uh, when you burn a gallon of gasoline in an in a, uh, internal combustion en uh, engine, about two-thirds of the energy that is produced by that uh, process is lost as waste heat, either through the exhaust stream or into the radiator. And of course we just let that go and never think about it uh, anymore. Uh, but in fact, if we can capture some of that energy that's been thrown away as, as waste heat and turn it into something useful, we can make the automobile more efficient. So one way to do that is to place in the stream of heat, either in the radiator or the exhaust, a thermoelectric generator. This is a uh, device which is uh, comprised of thermoelectric material. And when the heat flows through this material, uh, the energy which is in the form of heat is converted to uh, a energy in the flow of electrons, which is a, an electrical current. And we can use that uh, electricity on board the vehicle, such as for an air conditioner or radio or anything else, and by so doing increase the fuel economy. Of the so the question occurs to me and others also, what can we do now to try to help our situation and increase our uh, usage of any energy? Uh, and that becomes more a question of not uh, how energy is produced, but how energy is utilized. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum. Uh, so when we produce all of this energy and it flows through our, uh, our, uh, our economy, as I've already mentioned, two-thirds of it is wasted, lost mostly as heat. We never use it. We've produced it but not used it. So we have this huge chunk of energy sitting out there on the utilization side, which is available to us right now. I like to consider it as our really our best new energy source, if you like, but it's available to us right now. We don't have to develop it. All we have to do is figure out how to use it. And so uh, what we're interested in is trying to make use of that waste heat energy and turn it again into useful energy. And one way of doing that is using thermoelectricity. It's really rare to find at a university uh, a group of people that is large enough that can collaborate across the whole uh, area of research. For example, in this particular area of uh, power generation in a vehicle. Uh, this requires, of course, knowledge of a very fundamental nature of the physics and chemistry of materials, how, they're, how they function, how they're put together. Uh, it requires some knowledge of how to uh, uh, handle those materials and put them in a form in which they can be usable, uh, how you put them in a thermoelectric device, and finally, how you put them inside of a car. So this covers disciplines all the way from physics through material science, chemistry, and mechanical engineering. And uh, what MSU has uh, available and what it offers is expertise across that whole range. Now, typically one university may have some experts in physics in this area and another one may uh, have some experts in the systems area of mechanical engineering. Here we have the complete package where we can really study the problem across this entire 